Hi gang, Mikey D here. And if I were king, I would force every administrative employee in the Hillsborough School District making more than $80,000 a year to take a forced 10% pay cut and freeze all of their raises until the district honors its contractual obligation to give teachers the raises they were promised. And of course, I'd include all school board members who make $42,000 a year for their part-time job in the salary reduction as well. Here's the deal. Three years ago, the school district signed a contract with the teachers saying they wouldn't get a salary increase until this year when teachers with a satisfactory rating would get a $4,000 raise. It was signed, sealed, and delivered, but now that it's time to pay the piper, the district says it doesn't have the money and it can't afford to give the raises it legally promised. Back where I come from, they call that fraud. Then, in a shameful attack on teachers, Superintendent Jeff Akins had the district issue this two-page fact sheet implying the teachers are greedy because the average pay of a Hillsborough teacher is the second highest in the area. Now, the average teacher in Hillsborough makes about $49,000 a year, but that number is skewed by the teachers that take on extra duties beyond their eight-hour day, sort of like a second job, to increase their salary. So the $4,000 more than an 8% increase of the teachers goes out the window. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter what the teachers make. As many of them told the school board, a deal is a deal, and it's in writing. And even though Aikens turned down a scheduled 3% increase in his salary, it's really a lot easier to do when you're making $225,000 a year with another $81,000 a year going toward your retirement than when you're a starting teacher making $38,000 a year. Oh, and by the way, there are more than 130 administrators at the district making more than $100,000 a year. There's no doubt the legislature is also complicit in this problem because it's draining money from the public school system and bolstering private charter schools that some of the lawmakers actually profit off of. Put some blame on former Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia, who wasn't straight with the board about the financial situation the district was and still is in. And don't forget the grant from the Gates Foundation, which brought money to the district, but also forced the district to spend millions on a program that now appears to be a colossal failure. Uh, that was another Ilya Pet project, by the way. There's no doubt the Hillsborough schools need so much. That was painfully apparent to me last month when I spoke to five classes at three different schools for the Great American Teaching, and I was appalled about the antiquated technology. And of course, there's the broken air conditioners at some schools that are another red flag example. But the bottom line is teachers are supposed to be the most valuable commodity in the school system. But how do you teach students about ethics, good citizenship, and keeping promises when the district says, sorry, no can do. And that's why if I were king, I would force every administrative employee in the Hillsborough School District making more than $80,000 a year to take a forced 10% pay cut and freeze all their raises until the district honors its contractual obligations to the teachers. I'm Mike Deason.